Hey guys, this is Dr. Daniel Sugai, board certified dermatologist here again. Uh, thank you guys so much for supporting my channel. It's uh, three months old and I really appreciate the support, the great questions. You guys inspire me and motivate me to do more videos. So thank you for your engagement and also just the positivity. You know, I want things to stay positive. Um, I'm here just to give you some education and it's not to replace a doctor's visit, but it is just for me to um, give out, you know, good information that is backed by clinical training, clinical data, and um, also just want to share some of my personal views. You know, these reviews are uh, a little bit more subjective and I think they're very popular and a lot of people are asking for uh, more reviews, which I'm totally happy to do. Really glad to meet uh, all of you from all over the world. So thank you so much. Today I want to talk about Elta MD. So Elta MD is a sunscreen that I talk about a lot. I compare it to the Uppa baby of strollers, the, uh, let's see here, the Tesla of electric vehicles. Uh, I just think it's the great go-to luxury brand. I don't know if it's a true luxury brand, but I, I see it that way of sunscreen, you know, but I wash my face. So I have a clean base uh, here and I'll also be going over different skin types. I'm skin type three. So as you can see here, this is how I'm going to look. And I'm going to step out and put on some sunscreen. And the sunscreen I'm gonna to review today is Elta MD UV Clear, which has been one of my favorite sunscreens uh, of all time. I've talked about this quite a bit on Instagram, um, TikTok, and you know, uh, now here on YouTube. Uh, I, I do like it a lot because of certain uh, ingredients it has, and it does rub in very well. So I'm gonna step out and I'm gonna come back and show you how I look with this on my face, all right? Okay, so I just applied the uh, sunscreen onto my face just five minutes ago, I let it set. So what do you think? Pretty invisible, no white casts, not crumbly when you touch your face. Um, this isn't water resistant, so if you were to go to um, do water play or sweat, you wanna switch your sunscreen to something that's water resistant, either 40 or 80 minutes. This is not water resistant, this is more for like going to the office, uh, going for a little walk out in the outside of the park. Real quickly, I'm just gonna show you how it looks coming out of the bottle here. So, squeezing a little bit out. Nice. It spreads very nicely. At first glance, you're like, uh-oh, is it gonna be invisible? You keep working it in. Starting to look pretty good. So going back to skin types, or so skin types one through six, uh, I'm skin type three. When I lived in Hawaii, you could have argued that I looked skin type four. So, you know, some Asians are skin type three, meaning that we can burn, not as easily as uh, skin type one or two, uh, but skin type three, we can burn, but we also can tan. Skin type four is a grade above that where you rarely burn and you tan very, very easily. Let's say really quickly that skin type should not matter in terms of how you judge somebody. We all have the same amount of melanocytes, but our melanocytes just genetically are trained to uh, make more melanin in some people with darker skin tones. So melanin uh, are packaged in melanosomes that are made by melanocytes, and those um, are present in our skin and give us our skin color, also the color of our hair. And with age, those melanocytes uh, will burn out in making, those me uh, making melanin, and that's how we can gray with time. Um, our skin doesn't gray like our hair. Um, the melanin is a little bit more resilient in our skin. Uh, thankfully, that would be awful if our skin did gray. But in terms of protecting uh, our melanin uh, or protecting our skin from DNA damage, which can lead to skin cancer and also preventing our melanocytes from making more melanin, which will tan our skin. Some people think tanning is great, but it's, I always say it's our skin's way of crying for help. It's saying, please stop hurting me. The UV radiation is damaging my skin. So we need UVA and UVB sunscreen filters and that's where we want to go look for something that's broad spectrum. Broad spectrum meaning UVA and UVB are covered. The ingredients I will talk about uh, very shortly, but I also want to just throw in a quick disclaimer. I am not paid by Elta MD in any way. I'm not sponsored by them. I do like their brand so much though that I do sell this in my office. You might find this on, on online, but be careful of counterfeit 
uh, versions of this. We sell it from our office in our office, and this is one of our best sellers, especially for patients with acne or acne rosacea prone skin. And that brings us to ingredients. So ingredients, we have uh, zinc oxide, big plus. That's a mineral based ingredient. But we want mineral based uh, ingredients in our sunscreens as much as possible. We did talk a lot about how you know chemical ingredients can be found in um, our bloodstream with just minimal use in, um, in studies. And that was a big, uh, a big story last year and earlier this year. What does it do to us? We don't know yet. I know there are some reports of uh, neurotoxic effects from chemical ingredients. Uh, speaking to my neurology colleagues, uh, they don't uh, know of any clear cut evidence of any neurotoxic effects from chemical ingredients. Um, well, while it's, you know, controversial right now, I still feel comfort in putting uh, physical blockers onto my skin and my children's skin. So zinc oxide, titanium dioxide are the primary uh, physical blockers you want to look for. Those reflect UV radiation. The rays will reflect off of the um, those filters. And those are uh, zinc being uh, a physical ingredient. It is broad spectrum itself. It blocks UVA and UVB. But the other thing that does disappoint me and does dock a point off of uh, Elta MD's UV Clear is that it has octanoxate. Octanoxate is uh, an ester form from methyl cinnamic acid and 2-ethylhexanol. So this is a chemical ingredient. Why did Elta MD put it in uh, their sunscreen? I do uh, know why it's in other chemical sunscreens, you know, avobenzone and octanoxate are commonly put together to help stabilize avobenzone, which can be photo uh, labile in the sun. And to keep it stable, octanoxate is thrown in there, or octocrylene is thrown in there to help stabilize things. Um, also, octanoxate itself is just a UVB filter. It doesn't block UVA, so avobenzone is paired with it, so you get the broad spectrum um, label because avobenzone blocks UVA. And UVA is a longer wavelength that can penetrate window glass in your car or in your office. So you got to be very careful with UVA and that can cause aging, um, aging, you know, UVA aging, wrinkles, brown spots, sunspots, those things you want to block. So octanoxate by itself doesn't block UVA. It's in this. It does make me disappointed. And I, when I read online the product reviews, other people are very cognizant of that. LTMD snuck that in. I'll have to ask them why that's in there. Could they pull it out and still have this nice invisible um, look to their sunscreen? So just going past that, I just want to move on to the other ingredients that I love in this product. So there's niacinamide. So you guys all hear about, uh, you guys all see my posts on Instagram that I love niacinamide. It's vitamin B3 uh, that is present in nice cleansers, moisturizers. It is anti-inflammatory, it can help with acne, it can help keep the sebum production down uh, in your pores, so it helps thus help with acne, but it's also anti-inflammatory. So that's why we say this is nice for my acne patients, patients who are getting treated for acne, or patients with really sensitive skin and have acne rosacea. This is the go-to uh, sunscreen. If they took out the octanoxate, be perfect, give it a 10 out of 10. Um, but you know, with that, we'll just have to you know wait and see uh, how this formulation does change, especially as octanoxy, I forgot to mention, is going to be banned in Hawaii starting in 2021, as well, along with oxybenzone. So those two ingredients, they're worried will damage uh, coral reefs. The uh, In the lab, we are seeing harmful effects of these ingredients on coral reefs, but in the real world, is it enough coming off of our bodies in the water to cause the bleaching effects that we're seeing? Maybe it's still controversial, but just a heads up, this uh, the ingredient in here will be banned. It's already banned in Palau of, um, in 2020, so just keep that in mind. I know we're not traveling right now, but countries are gonna follow suit potentially. Okay, so other good things besides that, it's invisible, it rubs in very well, doesn't leave a white cast. It has um, no fragrance when I put this on, no scent at all. And it's also SPF 46. You want SPF 30 and above. If you look at the sunscreen curve, SPF 30 to 100, not much of a difference. The curve starts to plateau. So 46, checks, check the box there. It's good. Uh, in terms of other um, 
Other things that is uh, transparent zinc oxide. Zinc oxide is known to cause chalky, uh, white cast, ghost white look to our faces. Baby sunscreen, very notorious for that. Um, but this does not have that issue. It's broad spectrum. It's not water resistant, but that's okay. That's totally fine for your everyday use. This is a good sunscreen. But going down the ingredient list, other things that I like besides niacinamide would be, there is hyaluronic acid, which is great. So hyaluronate, that's good. It's a humectant that will draw in water and retain water. So that's good. It'll give you a nice little plump effect. Um, there's also tocopherol acetate, which is vitamin E. And vitamin E, we may have talked about before, as, long, uh, as well as vitamin C. Those are great antioxidants that can battle free radical damage. So oxidative stress from sunlight can cause bad effects on our skin, can cause wrinkles, age spots, hyperpigmentation. This will help battle that, having tocopherol. So you'll see that in moisturizers and other uh, beauty products. In terms of, uh, you might be hearing about tocopherol acetate because you might be hearing vitamin E being in vaping. But they're wondering, it's a controversial topic, is that the cause of vaping-related mortality and morbidity? Having the compound uh, implanted in the lung, uh, disrupting uh, lung function, the, is that the, the main culprit? Potentially, it's controversial still. The main message for me is don't do not vape. Vaping is not good for your lungs. Please avoid that, but in skincare products, totally not gonna to be absorbed into the lung. From what I know, it should not, but it's nice in the skin. It will stay on the skin to help heal any oxidative stress. This being great for sensitive skin, I love it. Elta MD, great brand. Again, I do sell this in my office uh, just so that I can have this available for my patients, knowing that I'm giving you real stuff. There's no counterfeit products in my office. You can't, you're not going to risk buying the fake stuff online. I, I have this in my office because I pure, purely want you to have access to it. So I'm huge on access to medications, access to over-the-counter products like moisturizers, cleansers. So I don't talk about the really high-end stuff all the time. I want to talk about things that are a little bit more uh, affordable. So, but you know, you could argue, is this affordable? Selling this for $36 in your office, is this affordable? for this little 1.7 ounce um, canister, you could argue, yeah, that's expensive. You're going for a higher end product. So, you know, my other um, review on Super Goop's matte screen, great to have it blend into skin type three skin. Um, it, it rubbed in very nicely, but did it have antioxidants? Didn't have that. Didn't have niacinamide in it. It would be nice to throw those things in to uh, justify the $38 price for that, um, for, you know, similar size to this. This one will beat that nice sunscreen because it has, it's packed with nice things like niacinamide. So I would give this a thumbs up, Dr. Sigai thumbs up, and also going by our old scoring system, a nine out of 10. So it gets like an A minus in terms of the grading system. Um, my managing team, Christina and Christian had mentioned that we should have a Dr. Sugai rating scale and uh, I'm just thinking about units. So we could have it stars or my face. And they had mentioned maybe use Daniels as a uh, rating system. So four, this would be like a 4.5 out of five Daniels. Uh, and I have my face there. I, I'm open to hearing suggestions. So please leave comments down below on what kind of unit units I should use. Stars, my face, you know, it should be four out of five Daniels or Docs or Dr. Daniels. So uh, I, I'm open to that. Oh, I actually might like the sound of Dr. Daniels. But um, uh, anyways, I'm gonna keep doing product reviews. I'm thank you for the nice feedback from my first two products. If you wanna uh, watch those, the Super Goop Invisible Setting Powder, Mineral Base uh, Setting Powder, and also Super Goop's Mask Screen, which is also mineral based. Uh, thank you so much, guys. I really appreciate it. Um, and I, I just really am touched by the support so far. I hope you are enjoying the videos and I'm open to more suggestions down below on not just the rating system, but other products you'd like to see reviewed. Um, I did pick up some nice things at um, Walmart and Target. So just a little quick um, preview here. We're gonna be talking about, uh, you know, someone had asked for a review on Walmart, uh, their line, Equate. Uh, moisturizer cream, their lotion. Also, I got their 
hydrating cleanser. So we can compare that to the gold standard Cetaphil line, the most gentle cleansers and moisturizers out there. They're not packed with a lot of fancy ingredients, but it's just very good for people who have very dry, sensitive skin. Uh, it's very good, it's very nice. So we'll compare the ingredients uh, and see if the texture, even if the ingredients are very similar, we'll see if the texture is similar as well. And um, because you know these, the uh, Walmart brand is like half the price or a significant um, you know amount less than the uh, Cetaphil line. Okay, so stay tuned for that. Thank you guys. Uh, be well and uh, go Elta MD. I do have more sunscreen uh, reviews on the way for Elta MD's line. And take care in the meantime, be well and safe. Thank you for wearing a mask. And thanks for watching that mask video too. I'll have to uh, definitely come up with a mask, uh, mask acne part two. Please like this video. Please subscribe to my channel. Please share with your friends who are interested in skincare. And I hope you're all well and be safe. Be safe.